Chancellor Angela Merkel and her main challenger, Piers Steinbrook, have held their only televised debate ahead of a general election later this month. It was dominated by economic issues, but on Syria, both candidates displayed reluctance to commit German forces to any military involvement. Angela Merkel is significantly ahead of her rival in the poll. Of course there are many worries, many woes, but we've shown that we can do it and that in a difficult time, in a time during which we had the worst European crisis, that Germany is strong. Germany is a growth motor, Germany is an anchor for stability and I want to continue on this path. Social Democrat Peer Steinbrück had a tough job ahead of him. A poll on Sunday predicted Merkel's Conservatives would win 39% of the vote in three weeks' time, a significant lead on his party's 23%. And Steinbrück got in some tough blows. He said the working poor had increased under Merkel's lead and attacked her handling of the debt crisis abroad. With the announcement of a third package for Greece, we maybe need to admit that the crisis strategy until now, which has been mainly presented by this government, has failed because it only brings these countries into a downwards vicious circle. Initial polls were evenly split as to who won the debate, although some declared Merkel the winner by a nose. Most pundits agreed neither rival landed a decisive blow that could determine the election outcome. It may have had millions of viewers, but this was not a debate that set the nation's television screens on fire. One of the big problems being that there is so little really to choose between uh, the two candidates in terms of actual policy. Per Steinberg of the opposition Social Democrats having the first word, uh, promising to campaign on a platform of social justice, of lessening the gap between the rich and the poor and of stopping what he built the vacillations of the current government. At this gathering of Social Democrats watching the debate, the hope was Steinbrück would turn his party's fortunes around. I think he was very active, he was in a good mood and I think he had the better arguments. She's all um, like out there in the clouds, she's not concrete, she doesn't say exactly what she wants to do and if she lays out the plans one wonders why didn't she do it in the last four years and I think he was pretty precise about what he wants to do and I think he presented it in, the, in a good way. One of Steinbrück's biggest problems has been that this election seems to be more about personalities than policies and with around 70 percent of Germans liking Angela Merkel, she has become this country's most popular elected leader. A big part of that has been her go-slow approach in dealing with the Eurozone crisis and the way she's seen as defending the interests of German taxpayers when it comes to helping countries such as Greece. <laughs> It was interesting to see the different opinions, but it didn't really help, because there were always excuses. Let's wait and see if it will get better in the coming weeks. Around 15 million people watched the debate, which one poll marked 49% to 44% in Steinbrook's favour, while another gave the two-term Chancellor a one-point lead. I've always said it was Steinbrook's last chance. I think he made a few points, but whether that will be enough... I think it was not dramatic enough for him to rise above Merkel and change the tide of opinion. Um, the latest opinion poll published on Sunday gives Merkel's CDU-CSU coalition a 16-point advantage over the SPD.